Welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of a Photoshop overlay. So as many of you know, we sell the overlays on our um, online store and our website. I will include a link below to those if you are interested in looking through some of those. Um, I had a question from a customer who wanted to know how she could apply an overlay and then change the color of it. So I'm going to show you um, using this picture here of my daughter dressed up as Princess Leia. Um, I don't, I don't want to hear it about gun control, blah, blah, blah. She is playing a character. It is a toy gun. So um, hopefully that's all I have to say <laughs> about that. Um, so I'm going to use the bokeh overlays and um, you'll see I have a couple layers here I was just kind of messing around with it before so I'll show you um, I'll, I'll turn those layers back on in a minute to give you the final look so what you're gonna do is go to um, the folder that you have your bokeh overlays saved in for this particular example I'm going to use um, this one right here bokeh 11 and you'll see there are several other options um, through here that you could use but I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna place it and I'm just gonna kind of move it over and I'm going to duplicate it because I want to use it a second time so I want some behind her and then some in front of her as well so I'm going to gonna go and duplicate the layer and then I will flip it so I'm gonna hit control T or command T and flip it horizontally just like that and kind of get them to kind of meet up actually I think I'm gonna flip it again so that it's not a mirror image there we go um, so now what I'm gonna do is merge these two layers together so that they are now one overlay I'm going to set it to screen so you can see her starting to show through. You could, on some overlays, you can use a different layer setting. Um, so like the soft light is kind of pretty if you want to get more of like, for this particular overlay, more of a golden color. I like the softer here. So I'm going to set it to screen. And I will create a layer mask. And I'm not going to get into explaining exactly um, layer masks and and. Um, layer settings and all that I have some other tutorials on that stuff this is purely on changing the color so um, what I would normally do is go through and brush off the um, overlay so I want to be able to see her so I created a layer mask I'm gonna brush it off now let me pull up my um, the brush that I want here and I'm just going to select a black brush and just kind of brush it off I need to kind of brush it off of where those two layers merged or the two overlays kind of came together as well um, you know and you would spend some time doing this so it doesn't look so um, um, so harsh like you want it to to fade onto her more than than what I've got here um, but for the sake of this tutorial um, that is going to be enough again I'll show you the final result here in a minute so getting into changing the color now um, if I wanted to change a specific color I can do that if I want to change the whole overall overlay I can certainly do that as well so you want to make sure that the layer is selected not the layer mask so I have the layer selected I'm gonna go up to um, and actually I'm gonna make a duplicate copy of this so that you can see the before and after so I'm just gonna turn that layer off so I'm working on a copy here um, I'm gonna go to image adjustments hue saturation so from here you can do a lot of things you can work with the master hue which means it's going to affect all of the colors at one time or you can select something specific so if you want to change the red and make it more orange or more purple or if you wanted to change just the yellow in the picture you can do that so let me show you what I mean if I adjust the red you can see how it's getting more green here it's more pink so depending on what you're looking for now if I were to do you know the yellow same thing I can make it 
more green, more red, totally up to you. Um, so let me get back to zero, and zero. Now, if I wanted to change the master hue, it's gonna change all of the colors at once. So I like the idea of this, okay, this is the, the normal. I like it being a little more kind of orangey, blushy color like that. Um, you can raise the saturation. So if you want the colors to be stronger or more muted, you could do that as well. Um, or you could certainly adjust how bright it is or how dark it is. So um, this is kind of like what I left it with for the final. I'll show you. So this was the before and now the after. It's a little more orange in tone. Um, now my final result is, make sure I've got the right one. There we go. Um, so you can see I brushed it off of her a little more, but it kind of fades nicely here. I wanted to make sure that it, you see her little infamous buns there. Um, so again, this same um, process works for any overlay that you want to place and change the color of. You just go to the hue saturation and select whether you want to do the master hue or a specific color in the picture or in the overlay. So. Um, I hope that helps. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, guys.